What's going on, YouTube? I know you hear that music, that beautiful fucking music. Oh my god, whatever happened to good gaming? Whatever happened to the good wrestling games like this? And if you don't know the music, it's WWF Smackdown 2, Know Your Role. You know? One of the best games ever. And I mean one of the best games ever. You still got Smackdown, WWF Smackdown, you still got Here Comes the Pain, Shut Your Mouth, and Smackdown vs. Raw 06. But man, hearing this music, it just brings back nostalgia. Now, let's talk about WWE 2K16. Everybody's sitting over here bragging about the largest roster. Okay. Did they tell us anything about what's the theme going to be this year? No. Have they told us they was going to fix the online servers? No. They haven't told us shit. You can brag about the biggest roster ever. What's that going to do? If, it, if, it, if you can't give us good gameplay. If you can't give us what we want and what we pay for and what we ask for. You know? You people, not all of you, but some of you people just accept this bullshit. It's like, you don't want a good game. You don't want good games like WWF Smackdown and, and all the other good classic games. You, you, you accept this bullshit. You accept this bullshit because you realize this is going to be the best it will get for you. But nah, not me. I'm not going to accept this. You know, I'm going to speak my mind. Until they give us a demo for the PlayStation Store and the Xbox Live Store, do not buy this game. Do not believe the hype because the hype is nothing but what it is. Hype. Until they give you information to make you go out there and buy this game, knowing that everything you want to be on there is on there, don't support this shit. Don't get on the hype train like you got on the hype train for 2K15 because you saw how that came out, you know. And I got it on PlayStation 4 for the low price of $10, or as WWE will say, for the low price of $9.99. That's how much I got for that game. So yeah, I will be posting gameplays of that game on my channel. But when I do it, I'm going to do it the way I see it, the way I want it to be. So... Don't come at me with this, oh, he's a hypocrite, or he this and that, because I just explained this shit. But like I said, I love good games. I love WWF SmackDown 2. I love WWF SmackDown. I love the older games where I can fight in the boiler room anywhere I want, where I can fight in Vince McMahon's office and everything else. I love a good storyline, a good season mode, where if I want to be the Intercontinental Champion, I could be that. If I want to be... The European champion, I could be that. If I wanted to be the cruiserweight champion, I could be that. I love that. And I definitely love when when opportunities come my way when I play these games. You people, you, you forgot all about that. My subscribers, they know that I'm telling the truth about this. And they know that they want good wrestling games. Because let's face it, if you grew up watching wrestling, it's a pretty good high chance you're still watching wrestling to this day. And like I said, the Divas Division is shit. You can't get a good Divas Division now. Because if you do, they all go fall in line. But back to this game. I'm not believing no hype. You can sit here and brag about over a hundred and over 120 unique character models. I don't care about that. What I care about is a good game. And until you release that shit on a fucking PlayStation Store and Xbox Live Store, I'm not supporting this shit. You can sit there and you can sucker all these other people to buy this shit and, and put out Finn Balor and Seth Rollins and Paige and Daniel Bryan and Wade Barrett and, and, and who else? I know, and Dean Ambrose, yeah. It doesn't fucking matter until you fix this shit. I don't care. I'd rather stick to the good shit. I'd rather stick to the classic shit. The good old days. Where when you play these games, you get fair opportunities. Hell, this is a good time to go back to the PlayStation 1 and, and find these games. Find these fucking treasures of good games 
like SmackDown and SmackDown 2. Some good treasures. It's time to do that. And if you got a PlayStation 2, same thing with the treasures. SmackDown vs. Raw 06, Here Comes the Pain, and Shut Your Mouth. That's all you really need. And you good to go. If you're a wrestling fan, you're good to go. But just like I said, don't believe this hype train, people. Don't believe it until you see until you see that they fixed the shit that that was so was so fucking broken. Don't believe nothing until you see and you get information. Simple as that. And for the haters on here, keep hating. I don't give a fuck because that's all you're good at is being a hater. So keep being a hater. Hell, we love good games. Did you hear that fucking theme music? Let's play that again. Yes! Oh my god, yes! This is what we want. This is what we want. Matter of fact, let me pause this. I'm going to be honest. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to be the only person who will say this shit. But you know what? I want a remaster of WWF SmackDown and WWF SmackDown 2 from the PlayStation. I want a remaster of this. Because I will buy the shit out of this. And, and when you remaster this shit, don't tweak nothing. Don't change not one fucking thing on this classic masterpiece. Don't change nothing. Because I will pay out $60. Hell, I'll give out $100 for this shit. Because this is real WWE games. That is is what we want. That is what we've been asking for for the longest time. I want a remaster of this shit. But I'm done ranting about this. Share the video. Subscribe right now to the revolution. Spread the video around if you believe the same things I believe. Because this gotta stop. So until they release a demo for WWE 2K16, don't believe no hype train. Because it's already rumors that it's gonna be another Attitude Era theme. And I'm tired of the Attitude Era theme, okay? I'm tired of that. You gave that to us in WWE 2K13. You gave it to us kinda in 2K14. We don't wanna replay that shit. And if we do wanna replay that shit, we wanna remaster a WWF SmackDown and WWF SmackDown 2. That's what we want. So if you can't do that for us, then hey, don't even do it. Simple as that. Um, that's all I'm gonna say, man. I know it's a lot more I should be talking about, but right now, that's all I can think of, because I'm doing this rant from the top of my head. None of this has been written down. None of this has been pre-recorded or none of this. This is a straight live rant right here, because I, I need to get this video out. I would have went to my studio and made a, a perfect video for this, but I just said forget it, because I have to make this video quick, and I have to make this video get out there before it's too fucking late. So before the storm comes, you people better wake up, man. You better wake up, and you better realize when you being tricked. So if there's no demo for this damn game, don't pick it up. Just wait until somebody puts it out, or if you got a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, go watch somebody on Twitch. Or you stream play this because that's free. Other than that, do not pick up this game. Do not believe the hype train. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Because I know right now, if I, matter of fact, I'm, no, no, you know what? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. Because I was reading some comments and people was like, take my money and I'm sold already. Yeah, those people are the reason why we get shit games every year. Because, hey, they encourage the developers to keep putting out this crap. With no demos, no information, no nothing to the very end. Uh-uh, not 